today let's talk a little bit about using a drawing mannequin as a tool for drawing. So um, I have this mannequin here. The, the best part about these mannequins is that you're able to move them in ways that would help you draw. So for example, if you're drawing a ballerina, you might position this mannequin in a way that suggests that it is moving like a ballerina would move. Or if it's a soccer player, maybe you're moving or adjusting the arms and the legs to suggest that, right, it's a, that this mannequin is about to kick the ball. So that's what these mannequins are for. They're here to help us understand the human body and how it moves. So I am going to, I'll leave it in kind of this shape. It's just, looks like it's walking perhaps. Now when I am using this normally, it's probably gonna sit like this. But for the sake of you being able to see it, I am laying it down so that you can follow along as I try to copy the shapes. So I'm gonna start up here with the head. And when I look at this head, you'll notice that it is not a circle, it's not a rectangle, it's not even really an egg shape, which is what I normally use. It's kind of this, kind of an egg shape that's cut off here at the neck. So, so the neck is shown with a circle. I can't see the top or really the bottom, so it's something like, more like this. Then I have the chest and the torso. So this is kind of like a trapezoid perhaps, a little bit taller, or I'm sorry, wider at the shoulders. And gets more narrow at the waist. Shoulders are also circles. The bicep, the forearm, both to me look kind of like rectangles. So when I am drawing, I'm not only looking for positive shapes, so a positive shape would be you know, the circle, the rectangle of the arm, but I'm also looking for negative shapes. So if I'm looking in here, I'm gonna start to see a triangle, right? The shape that is created by the positive shapes. I know there's not actually a rectangle in here, but if I look closely, the negative space is starting to create a triangle. So I'm gonna do the same here, make sure that I am creating this triangle here. The rectangle, circle for the wrist, this here, I don't really know what to call that. Something like that. This reminds me of kind of like an oval. Another rectangle here, negative space. Okay, so this mannequin has helped me kind of lay out the general shape of my body. And now from here, I can go in and add a uniform, um, details, and really make it look like it's a soccer player or a ballerina or a gymnast, whatever it is that I'm trying to create.